Welcome back everybody to Juliet the Shitsu's channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the flower hairstyle for your dog. I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. As you can see, I'm making sure that Juliet is aware that she's going to get groomed. This is her everyday daily routine every time I'm getting ready to groom her. It's highly recommended that if you have a dog that has a lot of fur, that you comb their fur regularly so they don't become matted. Um, having a dog that's matted can really severely hurt your dog, especially taking it to the groomers. They're going to um, probably charge you a little bit more um, for dematting your dog. So always groom your dog as best as you can. Um, try to fit it in your schedule. As you can see with Juliet, I try to groom her at least twice a day if possible, or even before bed, I'll try to comb her out so she's um, free of being matted. for it wait for it and there she goes when combing your dog's legs or hind legs um, what I do I normally just put my forearm under her belly as I lift her up a bit so I'm able to um, brush out or comb out any areas of the legs, the back of the tail. Um, this is another method that I use that works very well um, when she's patient. Um, but there's different methods of ways to combing her hinds. Um, so I hope that works for you guys. As you saw, Juliet doesn't really like her tail to be bothered with. Um, so I have to be extra gentle as best as possible. Wait for it, and she got it again. What I'm doing here, I'm scooping her up um, from below. I'm trying to fill for any little knots that she may have that can also cause an irritation um, to her. And gently, I'm combing those little spots out. As you can see, now that I've gotten those little tiny knots out, she's a little bit more comfortable. And that's pretty much what you want to do is make sure that your dog is comfortable. If it's making her feel uncomfortable, stop for a minute, do something else on her, comfort her like this, and proceed what you have to do. Now that we got her all combed out, Let's start with the flower hairstyle. So 
sometimes what I do with rubber bands that are so small, I stretch them out before I even use it on the style that I'm gonna do. So let's begin by um, parting the hair. Um, what I'm doing, I'm starting above the eyebrow. I'm collecting um, partial of the hair and I'm combing the sides out so it doesn't get tangled as I rubber band the first um, ponytail. And once that one's done, we're gonna repeat it over um, by doing the second portion of the hairstyle. And here I'm just combing things out so it doesn't get attached as I tie the two together. stretching the rubber bands out then I'm going to get another section of her hair and part it from the rest and I'm going to combine the first two together with the third one just like this ponytails down now I'm going to scoop from behind of the ponytail in the front and I'm gonna attach it and rubber band it with the first three ponytails just like this repeating the process again I'm gonna part the hair and then attach it to the ponytail in front of it just like that and as you can see I'm parting the hair once again to get another section of the hair to finalize the ponytail before putting on the flower. All right, and after you're done rubber banding the last section of the ponytail, it should look like this, kind of like an L. select the color flower that you want to use so according to what she's going to be wearing she's going to be wearing a baby blue outfit um, with dark blue stripes so i'm going to go with the blue flower So what you do next is you want to also comb out her ears um, just so that they're freshly combed out even though we did that earlier. But it's always good every time you do her hair that you actually comb the ears, comb the tails. As you can see, she's allowing me to do the tail with no problem since I already took the little knots that was bothering her earlier. 
Um, so now we're going to go ahead and put on the flower on her top knot. that concludes our video for the day and i hope you guys enjoy this video tutorial if you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure that you guys comment like and subscribe and stay tuned i have a big shout out to our new subscribers and thank you once again we'll see you guys in our next video